Hello, Internet and YouTube. This is Ice and Dark and Two Brothers Games. We are the Two Brothers. This is my younger brother, Jeff. Say Hello. hi, Jeff. There you go. That's him. He's a wizard, and I'm a scientist. I am John, and we are the Two Brothers. Uh, we are playing Minecraft in a modded survival uh, with slightly less mods than uh, certain other Minecraft mod packs and slightly more mods than others. Uh, we are calling this series stupid push, uh, Castle Freite, which um, I don't even know if I'm pronouncing that right, but it's supposed to mean uh, Freite is supposed to mean brother or something similar to it in Latin. Our goal for this series is to build every room on this six-page list. Um, if you would like to look at all of the different rooms, then you can just pause the video whenever. So, we have currently set up this tiny little shack to work things out in, and we're planning to build it over there. So, this series will progress, we will record for a while, and then we will stop. And then you will get videos. And then the internet is happy. Um, also, if you want to see the full mod list, I will have it in the description, along with probably links to some of the bigger mods um, on the Minecraft forums. What you doing there, Jeff? I am building a tower of bamboo. Um, good for you then. Unnecessary, but awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I should get inside. Oh yeah, and um, Jeff is sitting right next to me, so there might be a little bit of stuff like reverb or whatever you want to call it when I edit this all together, because we have to record his audio separately. So, yeah. Uh, let's do things. Yeah, let's get inside before all the monsters come in and blow up our house. Yeah. This series is kind of going to progress in a few different ways. Um, while we're building the castle, we are also slowly advancing and getting more stuff. As you can see, Jeff has already collected some uh, Thoundcraft things, along yep. with some Essence Berry stuff. I mean, we've got all sorts of mods in here, like uh, Tinker's Construct, Growthcraft. Mad um, Science. Mad Science, of course. <laughs> and all that. Um, there's all sorts of stuff in here. I made the clipboard just so that we would have a list of things. Although we're probably not going to do much with the actual castle until we get enough resources where we can actually do that. In fact, we're still trying to figure out what we should build the castle out of. We kind of spawned in this bamboo forest, and we don't have much of a way to do anything in here yet. But there is... there... there... I think there are two ravines over near where we're going to build our house. Yeah, we've got caves and ravines nearby, so that should help what we're doing. So we're going to try to progress this series pretty quickly. I am going to cut out stuff. Like when we stop talking for a while in awkward silence, um, mm. and things like that. Here, Jeff, I have uh, some cooked sheep for you. Cooked you sheep. Cooked mutton. Mutton yeah. So as you can see, we respawned in sort of a bamboo forest. We've got um, two biomes mods: uh, extra biomes XL, my personal favorite, and uh, biomes o plenty. This is Biomes of Plenty stuff, I believe. And there's actually, funnily enough, an extra Biomes XL bamboo forest just over there with the slightly lighter leaves. I need one more. Oh, and uh, you may also notice from time to time, my hand may go transparent. I'm not sure what causes that. It'd be nice if someone in the comments could let me know. Because it doesn't happen to Jeff, as far as we know. Um, I don't I know. I hope I'm not a ghost or anything. You are a ghost. No. You're a ghost of Christmas. Future. <laughs> per future. Good job, Jeff. <laughs> Your future when the entire world is made out of cookies for some reason. Well, Jeff's logic for you, everyone. And thus, he is the wizard here, so... <laughs> I shall destroy the world with fire! <laughs> <laughs> and all the different elements that you can put on a wand. I think we should make some carpenter's doors. Yeah, carpenter's doors might look nicer than these. Yeah, but you can Oh yeah. Oh, we've got carpenter's blocks also installed, so we can Along make some... with chisel. Oh yeah, and chisel. Um there's a lot of mods that add some cool I stuff. I decorated the house. Good job, Jeff. 
High five. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to build my Soundcraft laboratory down here. If you can come down the stairs, John. Oh, uh, hi. Uh, down here? Yeah, I'm the only cameraman here because uh, recording with Jeff's kind of crappy computer ends up uh, destroying his footage, so... Um, Oops. Ow. We're just going to keep playing. I am... At a certain point, we'll probably just stop. It feels weird talking to the internet. The internet knows everything. Oh, and feel free to make any, like, suggestions you guys want to, like, suggest for us, because, um... We're new at this. Yeah, we don't know a lot about these mods. We know plenty about Minecraft, but we don't know a lot about all these mods. That's why we have two men. Or not. Uh, not enough items. Yeah, not enough items. Yeah. Using not enough items, you can, like, see what crafting recipes there are. and uh, So, for suggestions, if you guys want to suggest, like, um, something I should add to the list for all the things. Ooh, invisible list. Um, and uh, also, if you would like to mention something that you want for, you know, our house or... Uh, something we should build, what we should do for a specific mod we're confused about. Jeff knows a little bit about Soundcraft and... There is no such thing as a Soundcraft expert. Y yeah. No such thing. <laughs> something that we've figured out over all this time is that... If there's... Soundcraft is like one of the most complex mods, and we even have add-ons for it, so you know... Yeah. I don't even remember Some all of these ones. I've never heard of. Like, yeah, mistakes. Jeff just found them, like, what was it, last night? Yeah. So we just added them all in here and hope for the best. Yeah. Also, since we're probably going to have a very small community of followers for a while, I wanted to ask you guys if you would like to submit, like, a comment or a question or something for us. And we'll try to answer it in the next video if we can. We'll probably upload maybe once a day, hopefully, if we don't run any problems. Because sometimes we may just have bugs, and then we need to fix them, or download mods. Yeah, uh, we, if you guys want to suggest something that we should, you know, do, then we also have to, like, think about how the mods will work, and which ones will work and which ones won't, and... I have to go through and fix all the ID errors. Cause... Hey, John. Huh? There's such thing as a lava stone. Lava stone? It looks like stone brick, but it has lava coursing through it. You need a lava bucket and nine stone, which we can actually do. What's it called? Lava stone. Lava stone. Oh, lava stone. No, like regular lava stone. That one. Yeah, that, that looks, looks really cool. That'll make for a nice looking like mage tower, which yeah. is one of the things on our list. I'm gonna go out and shear some sheep. There's mushrooms here. What can these be used for? Hallucinogens? Shroom powder and uh, shroom salad. Shroom? I guess you just eat shroom powder. Yeah. That sounds entirely healthy. Yeah, hallucinations. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I need cows. Do you know where cows are? Uh, I saw some earlier before we started recording. There was like, um, a whole herd of them. Are they called a herd? I guess they're oh, called a herd. Oh, I see, I see some cows on the mini-map. Yeah, I've, uh, we have, uh, Zan's mini-map up in the corner in case anyone's wondering. Um, and I have set it so that neutral mobs are turned on, so because I needed to find a chicken in order to make the clipboard before we started. Oh wow, that is a huge lava pool. So yeah. If you guys want to see it, just at the beginning of the video, I go through it and I suggest pausing if you want to see what was on that page. If I went too fast, tell me and I'll do it again next episode. We're going to try to get a lot of the mods done, because they were mods that we wanted to have put in. 
And if we want to, or the community wants to, uh, I guess we can add more mods. So I'm going to inspect this area that I want to turn into uh, our castle. Yeah, there are ravines there, and I'm going to go mine some of that raw amber. Okay, so it's very rocky. There's uh, marble patches. Yeah, you can use this marble to make good looking stuff. Chisel is a really nice mod. It adds, in case you don't know, Chisel adds it so that you can change how a certain block looks. Yeah, so this thing's like factory blocks, which look very rustic and metal. And there's um, marble, as you saw, like these little, where are they? These patches of, there they are, white rock. Here, I'll take some up. Let's see. So let's look at what marble can be turned into. Let's see, so yeah, that's all the different marble things. Uh, I believe a lot of it is actually based off of the uh, texture pack. Um, mm. That old texture pack, what was it called? Doku Craft? No, not Doku Craft. Well, some of it might be from Doku Craft, but... I'm thinking about that one that was like that really highly customizable one. Mm. It was popular for a really long time, because it was like basic Minecraft render texture, but it looked so much better, because it had like a lot of detail put into it. I don't know. Yeah, I can't remember what it was. Oh, the painterly pack. Oh, right, that one. I think we used that for a little bit. So, unfortunately, unless Jeff gets a better computer, uh, we're probably not going to be able to record his game audio or his um, game video. So, you know, we've got to fix that if we ever want to do it. But uh, it should be fine. Like, yeah. Unless uh, people really want to see what I'm doing. <laughs> no one wants to see what you're doing, Jeff. Oh, <laughs> that makes me sad. Good. <laughs> oh no, whatever I just threw down there. On accident. Oh, my axe. Jeff, did you throw something down into a pit? <laughs> Um, I was climbing down a water stream, which may have been made out of lava. Uh. And also burning my face off. That doesn't sound very pleasant. Yeah. <laughs> for magic doesn't sound right. Yeah. Probably because magic's stupid. Magic is not stupid. I can burn the world up with one snap of my fingers. If I was the Dumbledore. <laughs> <laughs> Do it already, you stupid wizard. Yeah, you've done is mean to me because I can't do anything, Downcraft. Downcraft users unite. <laughs> Please don't, like, raid message boards with hate mail for me. I don't want to be recognized as that person. Yeah, but, you know, it, it takes a while for Downcraft to go start up. Yeah. Thamcraft requires a lot of time and effort, and it really does pay off, because you can do amazing stuff. Like, you can, there's this one add-on which gives you a foci, which basically gives you powers to a wand, which allows you to move spawners. Yeah, that one's cool. Yeah, I don't know if we have it, though. The only way to find out is to make it. Yeah, we've seen other Let's Players do this sort of stuff. Like, I'm not really going to name stuff yet because I don't think we're popular enough to direct anyone to that sort of thing. Hopefully we will get that popular though because that would be awesome. And then we would be famous. And then we would get all that sick YouTube's money. Yay! <laughs> now, one of the things that I love about this pack, or I guess we're calling it a pack now, um is the fact that you can actually um, kill squids and sh sh sheep and um, you will get meat from it. Yeah, for sheep you get mutton and for squids you get squid meat. Yeah. You can also make... But I was looking at what you can make with feathers uh -huh. and you can make some darts. Darts. Yeah, I think yeah. there's actually a blow dart you can get. 
Yeah, you need thorns and a river cane. And river cane. I've seen some river cane around oh, here. You can make desks. Oh, that reminds me. I need to make a wand. Um, is there any iron? I guess I gotta go get some. Ooh, yeah, look at this. This is amber, part of Thoundcraft. It's yeah. transparent, so it looks really cool, but... Yeah, it's especially like if you have some light source under it. Because in the previous world that we played by ourselves, um, I put this above some lava, and it looked really cool. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you don't know what these are, these are part of the Tinker's Construct mod. Um, basically, what they are are, you know, XP bushes. Like, yeah. you can find bushes around the world that give you berries. If you melt these berries down, you get the equivalent of a nugget. Um, these essence berry bushes uh, give you essence berries, which is like concentrated XP. So, so yeah. if you can on. eat them, and they will give you XP. I don't know if it's eating them or using them. Like, I no. don't know. Well, they just disappear in your hand. Yeah, so they just they sort of disappear. Evaporate. Maybe they are like literally XP orbs. Yeah, you just throw them or something. Oh, cool! Cooked. Cook squid meat turns into calamari. Yeah. I've been eating some of that lately. I'm not sure how you replant this bamboo. I don't think the stalks we regrow. I think they like... Yeah, I don't think you can regrow them. Well, well. Just have to chop down this entire forest. Eh, yeah, th we don't really need to worry, though. I mean, there's like freaking bamboo everywhere. I know, like, yeah. It's just like real life, really, because bamboo is a very fast-growing plant. Oh, wow, there are a whole ton of chickens around here. Mm. Yeah, well, anyway, we've got things like Growthcraft on here, which is a mod that sort of adds, like, things you can brew, I guess would be the word. Like. Oh, and you might see us teleporting to different waypoints. That's because we can... Yeah, Zan's minimap has a unique feature where you can set a waypoint, and if you have it enabled in your config files, you can teleport to it. We're not exactly above cheating in Minecraft. Yeah, there's Jeff doing his thing. Hi! <laughs> we kind of work off the notion that we really can do a lot more and get a lot more stuff done if we just cheat a little bit to get out of those really dumb situations where we're like lost forever. I'm gonna set my home waypoint down here since it's three blocks tall and I won't get damaged. Here Jeff, I made us two beds now so we can both sleep in one. Oh, hold on. I have to... new waypoint, home. Done. Done. But we can't do that. Because... <laughs> you just said all of it! Shh! <laughs> the internet will never know. <laughs> They're all gonna be like, oh yeah, we did! But everyone on the internet will never know. Ever. Uh, no, no, just no, no, no. This is going to be... <coughs> so, come out here, John. So we can get a good look at the amber blocks transparency. Uh huh. What? Yeah. Look at it. See, you can see like right through it. It's like glass, but orange and all wavy. Ouch. So if you're wondering why these uh, oh. zombies are wearing armor, um. Hold on. Eat something, Jeff. I don't yeah. know exactly what mod it's from. I think I think it's just Tinker's construct, and there's a whole ton of armor, which allows it to have, you know, more chances for it to have a whole ton of armor. Yeah, I mean we've got all tons of mods in here. Like, it's not as big as certain mods. Like, I think the total mod list was 57, but that's mm -hmm. even including like you know all those mods that you know are just sub mods of the original yeah. or. Like, there are three for f just Forge itself. There, there, we've played a lot of mod packs that have, like, over 200 mods. Yeah, for a while there, Jeff's computer didn't actually, uh, wasn't actually able to handle many mods without, like... And then we figured out I needed more Java. 
Yeah, uh, all he really had to do was just update his Java to 64-bit, because the computer is a 64-bit computer, and now it runs, like, really nicely. I mean, before I would have gone from point A, and then you would wait a while, and I would be standing in place, and then I would be immediately at Charlie. <laughs> yes, he would be all the way at point C, having missed point B completely. <laughs> yes. Wait, no. That was not my point. <laughs> well, it is now. <laughs> what was my point? I have think no it idea. had something to do with how big of an idiot you are. Hey, <laughs> get a compliment. Yes. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like the addition to the house. Yeah, I added, like, the start of a second floor, I guess. This stuff is mud. Maybe we can keep oh, this. Keep... It'll just be like a little shack. We yeah. Put some stuff in. We could probably turn it into a training dojo. Whoa. We can do all sorts of montages in there. Ow. Whoa, whoa, whoa. As soon as we figure out how to edit really good. I guess. Yeah. I don't really... We're kind of new at the whole YouTube thing. We actually... We actually spent a long time building a house before we recorded. Yeah, we kind of built a house to have a little shelter so you guys didn't need to see us start up and go through all the process of punching wood. Or in this case, bamboo. Um, and you know, no one had to sit through it all and just watch us intently while we were boring and did stupid stuff. But for those of the small amount of people who actually want to see that, we may or may not include more videos today. Yeah, we have a few failed recording attempts, like, you know, dumb little bits of us kind of like trying to start up. Jeff interrupts me on one of them. Stupid person. Yeah. Jeff is not actually stupid, he is a very smart boy. I made dark blocks. Dark blocks? You make them from snow and insects. They look like this. Hold on. Right next to you. Look. Wow, that is just pure darkness. Oh, what did I just get? Dark cobblestone. Here you go. I made you some armor out of mud. Oh. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we also have the statues mod, which is a really cool mod. Oh yeah. Um, here, let me like show the people about that. You m can you make the hammer? Why? Oh. Get. Oh, uh, I think we need some iron. Uh. We don't have iron. Uh, hammer. Yeah, we need two iron, two sticks, and it's well, really cool. We'll show you later. Yeah, uh, here, let's see if we can find some iron somewhere. Alright, let's go over to the place we're going to build it. You yeah. go there, I'll go explore some of these other caves that are around here. Okay, I'll actually go into the ravine. See if I can find some iron. There's one. Oh yeah, another thing you guys can suggest. Um, when we're building stuff, if something doesn't look good, Feel free to tell us, because we're not master builders. Oh, wow. Oh, I see some more uh, berry bushes down here. Hi. Skeletors. Ah. Where'd right, I go? I'll go smelt the iron and then, you know, stuff. Yeah, like, eventually, if we get semi-popular or anything like that, we may start doing, like, other series. It all depends, really. Like I said, we're kind of new to everything. This is our first real video. Like, I've tried to do YouTube in the past, but it never really did anything. I had no plan, there was nothing going on. This time we have a plan, which is why we think this will work. See, we've never built anything quite as big as we're hoping this will be. Hey, John. Huh? You want to see something interesting? What? For iron, there are 57 crafting recipes. Wow. 
57 pages of crafting recipes. Yeah. So multiply that by two, and that's how that's many years. That's over a hundred. Well, that's a hundred and fourteen. Yep. Good job, Jeff. You did math. I'm hoping that this will come out pretty good. I've fiddled with these settings for a long time. Like, it took us a near an hour to figure out some of the weird like things that were happening. Oh, um, I made the uh, hammer. Oh, okay. Well, I'll join you up on the surface. One of the things that you can do with um, the hammer and the statues mod in general is anything can be made into a statue. Oh. Like, now it looks like sto uh, snow. Jeff has done like a little test on his like practice world thing that we set up once, and um, it like he tested it out on all sorts of stuff like grass, dirt, blocks of redstone. Yeah, blocks of redstone were actually the best looking in my opinion. Yeah, Jeff, Jeff's like a fire mage, as you might be able to tell. I actually made both these skins, by the way. Yeah, so you can't really see with the helmet on but yeah this is my skin I I like put a scroll on the back like a scroll symbol on the back and a world symbol on the top yeah Jeff's got he's made a few like changes to his and that's his own deal I don't even care uh, but anyway uh, Jeff let's show the people by uh, Putting a hold on, I can actually make my own hammer, so we can do this Did at the same time. Give me um, but um, actually, I'm gonna make mine out of bamboo. All right. Actually, I'm gonna see if this works. May may not work. I think it works. I think everything works with it. With that. Yep, it works. Okay, so, here. You can also get um. A pallet. Oh man, to color that, it. that looks odd on you. Yeah, you can get a pallet to color it, which makes it look exactly like your skin. I don't think you actually. Yeah, you don't get the blocks back, which is kind of annoying, but it's Whatever. understandable. And you know, you can mess around with like his leg and make it go all wibbly wobbly. Yeah, but once you sculpt it, it's there and it's done. Actually, yeah. Now that I think about it, yeah, you can. You can like change how the th like you can put stuff in their hands and you can change how that's positioned. But uh, I'm gonna put this in his hand. Oh wait. See, you can yeah, you can make all sorts of funny little poses using it. Like, you know. oh, where is this first? Put a um, stone sword in your guy's hand. Okay, I'll go find one. Oh, uh, by the way, Jeff, here's some torches for you. Oh, okay. I made a bunch. Oh, whoa, that's a lot of torches. Yeah. So, I also found some aluminium ore berry bushes, and please do not go crazy over the fact that I just said aluminium, because that's how it's supposed to be pronounced. And it just Al sounds cooler. Um in e Wait, aluminum. It's spelled like aluminum. What? Weird. I've never seen it spelled like that. It's always aluminium. Yeah. Besides, sounds that sounds so cool. much cooler. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, oh, and um, I'm not sure if this is showing up on John's mini map, but can you see a wisp? It yeah. Be a red glowing ball in the. Mini yeah, map. there's a wisp somewhere over here, like. It's like very far. Oh, Ow. sorry. <laughs> it's far away in that direction, but those give you ethereal essence, which is used later in Downcraft. Oh, um. Also, I have one thing that I've wanted to make for a while. Um, you see, in this mod pack, or I don't really know if it's a mod pack or just kind of a thing that we do here, but yeah. Um, there's this thing called, like, octuple compressed cobblestone. Okay, oh, hey, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, and the whole idea about it, or something, uh, something along those lines, it's like, basically, you can compress cobblestone into, like, compressed cobblestone, which is nine cobblestone in the crafting grid. As it turns out, if you get nine of that, you can compress it into uh, double compressed cobblestone. 
You can keep doing that until eight of it. I think. I think that's the limit. Uh, cobblestone. Let's see if I can find it. Uh, here it is. Octuple compressed cobblestone. As you can see, it's made of 43,046,721 cobblestone. I mean, holy crap. That is, like, ridiculous. I have never heard of anyone ever making that, but it sounds amazing. And if we can make one of that, it will be awesome. I got a chess piece over something. Lapis lazuli. Must have been the... Probably not actually that good. Oh, that's an angry zombie. Another Thoundcraft thing. Angry zombies drop zombie brains, which you can use for things. I don't really know much. Yes, rain in a jar. That's what it's And about. a thinking pink, which is something. Oh, I made double compressed cobblestone. Yeah, Quire, so... It requires 81. 81 cobblestone there. So it's kind of just there in case, you know, there's, like, something that you want to... Like, that you have so much cobblestone that you literally have nothing to do with. So you just, you know... You just put it, like, in that, and if you make it all the way to a tuple, you can have, like, a trophy. Yeah. I also got osmium leggings. These things are so badly damaged, though. I think I'm just gonna leave them down here. Mm. So, yeah, I made some thickened glass for John. Um. Yeah, uh, what is that made with? Oh, it's just sandy glass smelted. Sandy glass is two glass and two sand. Yep, there it is. And okay. you can use that to make one more thing. Oh, you can make it carved glass. You can make glass bricks. You can make edged glass, gold edged glass, and a lot of other glass. So oh, yeah. Another thing. In this mod pack, or mod thing... What are we calling it, this? Let's just call it a mod pack. It's yeah. In, in this mod pack, uh, we're going to call it the Castle Freite pack. Um, the, you can actually uh, smelt down dried flesh into... Uh, or wait, um, flesh rotten into flesh dried into flesh. dried flesh. Yeah. Which restores 1.5 hunger and it does not give you the hunger debuff. Yeah, it's really nice. It really does. It is a nice thing to have while you're doing this. There's a witch on the mini-map. A witch? Oh, let's go kill it. Now, in case you didn't know, witches actually drop potion ingredients. I think she's down here. Yeah, you go get that, I'll kill this spider. Oh, hello. <laughs> she was looking at me. Alright, what'd you get? Oh, she, oh, she dropped some gunpowder. Oh, I guess that's good. I guess. It's not really what I wanted, All though. Right, I'm gonna go on my quest for Poison cows. me. Quest for cows. Sounds like something Jeff would do. <laughs> okay. Well, that stingy old witch didn't even drop anything other than some gunpowder, which I could have gotten from Creeper. Yeah. I Though think honestly, they have it was a probably. Chance to drop redstone? Yeah, they can drop like redstone, glowstone, glass bottles. Yeah, glowstone dust will be really good because, you know, you have to travel to the nether and we aren't going to do that for a while if we don't have to. Yeah. Going to the nether is, like, super dangerous. So we'll be trying to go through every mod that we put in here. There's things like build craft and mine factory reloaded. And Logitech pipes. Logitech pipes. I keep forgetting what those actually are. Like, uh, we have, like, magical crops, which is actually a very good mod because you can grow your own diamonds. Yeah, that's one of like the cooler things that we have is the magical crops. Yeah, but you need a lot of stuff. To start it off, you have to get one diamond or one emerald. So yeah, I'll probably be uh, editing this in my spare time, and Jeff will probably be doing little things. I found a field of barley! Barley? Oh, okay, I'm looking at Jeff's screen right now. He found one of those, like, biomes. I forget. I think it's from Biomes Bionzo Plenty. Yeah, um, it adds barley, I believe, and what you can find sometimes is just a massive field of the stuff. It works like bread, except 
It kind of grows wild. Like it's nice, especially if you're running low on food. Oh, this get, hurts oh. my ears. <laughs> yeah, just if you, just so that you can imagine this. If any of you know what the uh, breaking grass or leaves sound is in Minecraft, it's that times a hundred for him at the it's, moment. And some breaking leaves, because those are louder. Oh, thank you. That is tables. It is used for the research table, which is a key element in Thumbcraft. I explain it better. Anyway, so... I just hit him. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Jeff uses this, like, if you put two tables next to each other, this is from Thumbcraft, and right-click it with, I think, scribing tools? Uh, yeah, scribing tools. Um, then it becomes a research table where he can research different magical things and all that kind of voodoo witchcraft. It's not voodoo. Voodoo is something different that is used in witchery, which we do not have. Yeah, one of the reasons we made this was because there are other mod packs that add like tons of mods, but we never seem to use them. So we like got all the ones that are like really cool yeah. and so we put them together. Lapis lazuli, cactus green, rose red, and birch wood, or any wood, I guess, can make a palette which you can color your statues with. Yes. Let's see, so... That will be useful because, honestly, these look weird. Yeah, um, we don't actually have any lapis lazuli at the moment, though. You can though. compress dirt. Yeah, you can do that up to four times, though, not like the friggin' eight times. Guess it's better that way, though. Let's go on a mining trip. Yeah, might as well. There's all sorts of stuff we can mine and stuff. Like, I'm still not certain of everything in all this. Like, mad science, I haven't really even touched, but it's a really interesting mod that doesn't add too, too much, but... I mean, it allows you to make genetic abominations. Yeah, that part... <laughs> That you can sounds make a creeper fun. chicken that goes bok bok boom. <laughs> yeah, creeper chickens. I'll have to experiment with that. Yeah. Isn't that how you make them? You just experiment. Oh, there's some essence down there. I'm gonna go get that. Yeah, you can see it down there. That's the stuff for the magical crops. You get that and you can turn it into... Ah, baby zombie. Baby zombie. Essence. And, you know, like... I hate you, baby zombie. You should die. Uh, ah. I, be while I'm on. I hope the internet likes us. The internet is a very interesting place. And I there are hope lots of different people who like what? Yeah. Like, you know. Holy crap, where are all these zombies coming from? I'm going to. Oh, jeez. Whoa, that was close. There are tons of mobs back here. Ah! One of the nice things about Zan's minimap, though, is you can go instantaneously back to where you died. Which, you know, helps. Oh, come on, what's with all the creepers? I don't know, the mobs in this place. This is like the only place around to spawn. Jesus, holy crap! Oh man, my sword just broke, and my axe just broke. Oh, everything's breaking. Let's get out of here. I still need to mine some stuff. Mining is important. That's cool. I didn't know you could actually do that. Huh. Well, I, uh, people of the internet, in case you're wondering what I'm going and awing about. I have just figured out that by pressing the number keys you, while you're in your inventory, you can actually set something to be in your hotbar for that number key. Cool. Neat. Found some lapis lazuli. Oh, oh sweet. Then all we need is rose red, because I believe this seaweed stuff near our house can be turned into cactus green. Yep. Just by crafting. <sighs> If 
only you could find some diamonds. That would be awesome. Diamonds? Oh, I found some redstone. Oh, sweet. I can use that, because science requires scientific things that don't really work with science. Ooh, hello. I am about to die. I need food. Go, go, food, food. Go, 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 go. Need soft tongs, no balls. No. Oh, um, 28 redstone. Oh, sweet. Use like essence dust, and you can turn into like weak essence or weak infusion stones, and infuse coal. And what can this be yeah. used for? Uh, you actually regular need essence, an infusion, infused essence stone. dust. Oh, it's coal seeds, dye seeds, water seeds, fire seeds, earth seeds, and air seeds that you can make from that. Okay, so barley regular is. Essence. You know how you make red, red with um, glowstone, obsidian, wheat, copper, tin. Yeah. That's how you make um, wheat with barley. Strong essence that makes iron, gold, glaze, ender, lapis lazuli, experience, nether, cow, creeper. Magma, skeleton, it makes all sorts of stuff. Holy crap. And Wait, then there's like extreme. So you said which you magma. Can I think diamond. that makes magma slime thing. Probably. Emerald, wither, obsidian defender, health orb, cobblestone. I have no idea what this stuff is. Infused diamond stuff, essence stuff, cobalt seeds. Cobalt? Oh, cool! That's awesome. That's part. Of I guess that must be like, yeah, that's then gain tier stuff. Yeah. Yeah, if we can grow that, then we're pretty much set. Where did my amber block go? I think it's in your chest downstairs. Okay. Yep. Here it is. Do you have the scribing tools yet? Uh, no. What do you need? Um. Uh, I don't think I really need anything, but I'm kind of just waiting for the next episode. <laughs> no, we're going to end the episode off with that, okay? Oh, fine. Because we got, we're going to probably stop soon here. Um, oh, that looks neat. Oh, no, Jeff, look out. Ah, no, he's going <laughs> after me. <laughs> no, I wanted him to try and kill you while you're doing stuff. I have no sword. Let's see, now I'm gonna make my scraping tools. Oh, and again, can someone please tell me how to fix my ghost hand? I don't like having a ghost hand. Um, do you want to come down here for the creation of the research table? Okay, go ahead. Bam! So yeah, that's what it looks like, and yeah. that's what it looks like, and holy crap, I don't understand, but... I do! Yeah, so that's why he's the wizard. I actually need to take these scribing tools out eventually so I can make some research notes with the Thalmanomicon. Thalmanomicon! Which I actually need a bookshelf for. Which is Thalmanomicon! Why, which is why I needed the leather. Wait, can I make leather? You can actually make books without using that. You can use blank patterns from a Tinker's Construct. How do you make blank patterns? Uh, sticks and wood. Sticks and wood. Yeah, in a square shape. Um, Why did no one tell me this before? Because I am amazing and you suck. Oh. <laughs> oh, it just broke as I punched you. Um, so. Oh, okay. I believe we're probably going to end off the episode here. Um, but, but I still need food. Uh, not food. Uh, things. Books. Jeff, join me on the roof. We're going to end the episode. Oh, I was going to make the Thalmanomicon. That would look cool. We'll do that in the next episode. <laughs> Your head is I wanted to see the Thalmanomicon. Alright, well, anyway, stand next to me. We're going to end off the episode. Okay. <laughs> Jeff looks all sad. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, um... <laughs>
<laughs> Next episode, we're probably going to be making the Thalmanomicon and potentially starting on Castle Freite. Mm -hmm. Um. Goodbye, Internet.